Hi, I am Friedrich Vermeulen. Do you always have good resolutions on the 1st of January? And are they difficult to keep? Well, you're not alone. Together with a group of Belgian and British researchers, we analyzed food expenditures based on very detailed scanner data. It's well known that there's a lot of heterogeneity across people with respect to their diet quality. Some people only eat pulses, whole grains and vegetables, others use a lot of soda, crisps and sweets. A novel finding of our research is that there's a lot of within individual variation in food choices over the year. Only one-fifth of these within individual fluctuations in diet quality can be explained by standard economic variables like prices and budgets, along with advertising and weather conditions. The residual fluctuations are larger for lower income and younger people and individuals who state they are impulsive. This variation follows a clear pattern. Diet quality gets worse over the course of the year and resets each January. We have developed a microeconomic model of food purchase behavior to interpret our empirical findings. Food choices are modeled as a bargaining process between two selves, a healthy and an unhealthy self. The results indicate that the bargaining power of the healthy self sharply increases at the beginning of January. Unfortunately, it steadily declines afterwards, which of course leaves room for new good resolutions. We live in a world wherein diet-related diseases are widespread. So, what policy advice can we now derive from our results? Our research indicates that it may be worthwhile to design policies that encourage individuals to behave as they do in their healthiest times. This may be more effective than making an ascetic from a bon vivant.